Hello, my name is Jan Willem Polman and I'm from Premium Ropes. In this movie I would like to explain what rope do you need for boring lines, towing lines and anchor lines. I also like to explain what diameter you should use and also uh, what length is, uh, would be nice to have. First of all, uh, anchor ropes are basically the same as mooring uh, ropes, but they are non-floating. So if you choose a good mooring rope, which is non-floating, that's a very good anchor line. And towing lines are basically the opposite. The towing lines are floating mooring lines. So uh, it's important for all those lines that you have sufficient stretch. Uh, you want to have stretch to absorb uh, certain uh, shocks in, uh, which otherwise would, uh, would go to your boat. Another thing which, uh, which is important to choose the right length. Uh, as a rule of thumb, we always say you need about 1 to 1.5 times the length of your vessel for a mooring rope. And this is a rule of thumb which is applicable to about 16 millimeter vessels. Uh, we also recommend you to take uh, four of those uh, mooring lines, so four times one to one and a half length of the vessel, and also to take two extra long mooring lines, uh, or land lines as we sometimes also call them. For the diameter, as a rule of thumb, uh, we always say that uh, the boat length in meters uh, plus two is, uh, is the diameter you require for your mooring line. So basically an uh, example, if your boat is 12 meters long, you uh, require a minimum 14 millimeters mooring line. And now we have uh, also different materials which we use for mooring lines. There are basically uh, two different types of materials we use. First of them, uh, first, of, first of all is uh, polypropylene. Polypropylene is a material which is floating. However, it is much less durable and also more subject to abrasion uh, than, for example, polyester. Uh, it's cheaper, uh, but it also makes some extra noise. So if you want to have more silent mooring ropes, which a lot of people want, uh, you can better choose uh, polyester as a mooring line. Uh, polyester, I already mentioned it, is uh, non-floating. It's much more durable, the UV resistance is much better than polypropylene uh, and it remains also flexible for a very long time, I would say uh, over a lifetime. And uh, as I already mentioned, the, the amount of noise that this rope produces is much less than polypropylene. I would like to go through the different uh, lines that we have for boring lines and discuss them one by one. I'd like to start with one of the most popular ones. And that's basically this one, and it's a double braid. So we call it a dog line. And the, this is uh, what we have in ready-made dog lines. We have them in different diameters. And they already have an eye splice on one side. And they are already in certain length, which uh, is applicable for uh, the different boat types. So these are ready-made boring lines. They are available uh, in the right length already. Then we have a dog line and uh, in four colors, which we have on spools. And these one we can make tailor-made for you. We can splice them in whatever length uh, you require. It's basically also a double braid polyester rope. So just like the other rope, uh, the, the, the ready-made one, it's, it's polyester. So it's a very durable, flexible rope. Makes not a lot of noise, uh, but uh, uh, this is one of the most popular ropes. Then we go to the three-strand mooring lines. And there we have a number of options. Uh, they basically maybe look the same, but they are quite different. On my left here, on, uh, in this hand, is a very lightweight, but you already feel and hear that it's making a little bit of noise. This is a polypropylene version, so it's a three-strand polypropylene. This floats. Then we have one for classical bows. This is called the Classic Twist which is basically a mixture of polypropylene and polyester. Uh, it still floats, so that's an advantage, and uh, also a high quality, better quality than this one, uh, rope, and uh, more durable. And then we have the uh, polyester rope, and uh, this is a polyester rope. Uh, it's, it's already very flexible, it doesn't make a lot of noise, and uh, yeah, basically uh, that's, uh, that's the difference. From the outside, uh, the one, uh, this one and this one look the same, but uh, you can already feel it, uh, also in weight and flexibility, uh, you can feel the difference. Then we have for the thicker mooring ropes, we have the so-called eight-strand mooring ropes. The advantage of this one is it doesn't kink, so it always remains nice and round. 
And uh, this one's also very flexible and I like this very much because it's one of the more abrasion resistant mooring rocks uh, we have. So for thicker mooring lines, uh, it's nice and flexible. It remains flexible for uh, over a lifetime and this is a very good rope to choose. Then we have uh, a totally different rope and you can already see it's, it's a little bit less flexible. Uh, this is a floating line and this rope is called uh, the PR tw uh, PR12. Uh, it's also spliceable, uh, but this is basically made for uh, the commercial uh, vessels. And it's, it's, uh, because it's made of very thick fibers, it, it's, uh, it's less flexible. Uh, it, it floats, that's, that's nice, eh? for towing lines, for uh, bigger vessels, it's also very, uh, very suitable. Um, but also the diameter tends to be a little bit higher than the diameter given, uh, because the fibers are quite thick. And if you measure under tension, you will see the right diameter which you order. But non, not under tension, it seems to look a little bit bigger uh, than the diameter which is uh, listed. Then, and last, uh, are these ropes. We call them uh, not mooring ropes, but this is the floating rescue line. And especially for dinghies, uh, this is a very commonly used mooring line. It's floating, you, you can't splice it. All, those ro all of these ropes are non spliceable. Uh, and for the thicker, uh, for the thicker rope, uh, it's also suitable as a towing line or maybe as a landline. Yeah, on my own boat, I use this as a landline since it's very lightweight uh, and it's floating. Uh, for so for the extra long um, uh, landlines, it's it's very nice to use. So those were basically the ropes which I uh, I wanted to explain. But we also have a number of uh, splicing options. Um, and uh, I, I want to show a few. This is a normal eye splice, and this is an eight strand. It's a different eye splice than, for example, double braid. That's an option. Another option, if you want to have more uh, abrasion resistance in your eye, you can also order uh, with mooring protection cover. So this one is made with mooring protection cover. You can also, uh, we can also splice in for you, for example, a thimble. So there are many options available uh, which you can choose from. And I also like to explain that because many people order uh, custom-made mooring lines uh, for permanent berth. Uh, uh, the way you give your length to us is basically the total length which you give to us is the length that we make. So it includes, so between my thumbs is the, if you order 1.2 meters, if this would be 1.2 meters, uh, then between my thumbs is, uh, would be 1.2 meters. And the length of the eye is basically between my uh, thumbs so this would be like 25 centimeters, that's the length you give to us. So if you want to order uh, custom uh, mooring lines for your permanent berth, that's also something you can do with, for example, in this case, the dog line. I would like to thank you very much for your attention. And if there are any additional questions, please give us a call or send us an email. Thank you.